This is Boulder Roll. Uh, it's a new roll and write and roll again game idea that we're working on here at Storm Chaser Games. Uh, in Boulder Roll, the players are all competitive rock climbers, and they're going to be rolling lots and lots of dice to collect the cards that they're going to need to construct a rock climbing wall. And then uh, they will roll them again in the second round to climb that wall as quickly as they can. Um, the first part of the game, the first phase is smart and strategic where you'll uh, take dice and you will carefully plot them on this side of their of your sheet uh, to get these cards. In the second half of the game, it's fast and frantic as you are rolling dice again and again and again to get the right combinations to fill in to climb those rock climbing routes. But the whole thing is fun and good times no matter how you play it. And let's take a look at how you do play it. Uh, phase one is to set your route. So every player will get this route setting sheet that has uh, places to plot the dice in the blue red, pink, or sorry, blue, red, green, and purple uh, squares there. So you'll take, uh, you'll set out these climbing hold cards, and you can see there are four kinds of climbing holds, pinches, crimps, jugs, and slopers. And what you're going to try to do is plot out um, dice in, in these boxes to get the amount that is uh, on the bottom here. So what you're going to want to get this card is two dice next to each other that equal six, a four and a two, two three is a five and a one, but one needs to be in a red box, one needs to be in a purple. Uh, like for this one to get this crimp, you need to get a, a, a sum of eight in two boxes that are green and red. And that's uh, what you do. So what you will do is you'll set out these Piles of tokens, which are bonuses you'll get for the second round. Everyone will get some chalk, and you can use chalk to change the result of a dice, of a die by one, up or down. You can change a four into a three or a five. You can change a one into a six or a two. What will happen is you will take uh, a, a, this pool of dice, and you will roll them all. And then what will happen is you'll go around the table, and each player will choose one die. Uh, let me be, I take this six, and then I will fill it in wherever I'd like on my sheet. The next player maybe takes this four, the next player takes this one, and this three, and then it goes around, and you will fill in your sheet as you see fit. When you have two dice next to each other that uh, equal the results on one of these cards, you will put a box around them. Here's a uh, partially filled in uh, sheet here. So I've got this uh, this three and the six next to each other. So I'm able to take this uh, jug where I need a sum of nine and it's in those boxes. So you'll keep going around, uh, replace that card and, uh, and so on. You'll keep going until um, you have five or more of these hold cards. Um, so once you have them, you'll take them. When you um, put a box around one of these uh, bonuses, these H's, L's, or M's, you will take one of these tokens, uh, these beta tokens that you can use in the second round. So you'll plot your dice carefully throughout the phase uh, to collect the hold cards that you will need in phase two to plot your climbing route. Here's phase two. You'll flip over your sheet to the second side, which is the climbing side. As you can see, it has... The, uh, the five rows will correspond with the five cards that you will be using. So what you'll do is you'll take the cards that you got in the first round and you'll set them out however you'd like. And then every player will take five dice. And what will happen is everybody will roll at the same time, right? So there's four types of hold cards and to get them, you uh, each one you'll need to do something a little bit different. It takes a different approach for each card. So for jugs, you want to roll high rolls. So to get the, the points on this, you need to have more than 20 to get eight points or more than 24 to get 12 points. Crimps are the opposite. You want to get low cards, so less than nine or less than 11. Uh, pinches, you want to get sets. So uh, four of a kind, four of the same dice, or five of the same die values to get eight or 12 points, respectively. And then slopers work differently. They tend to be ascending or descending. So what you'll do is everybody rolls at the same time. You'll take your five dice and you will roll them. And each time you roll, you have to lock in one. So maybe I lock in that six, uh, roll again. Maybe I take this six. And then I roll again, I take these sixes and this five, and then I would have enough to climb this jug because I have got more than 24. I will take the 12 points and I will place it there. And you will fill them in as so, and then you'll move on to the sloper, roll, 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 move on to the crimp, roll, 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 and, and so on, right? Use these chalk cubes if you need to. Uh, if you're having trouble rolling what you need, you can use these tokens to replace a uh, six. So this is a six or a five. This would be in place of a four or a three, a one or a two, and then these little mountains are wild. So you can use those if you can't lock, uh, lock in a die. And also if you can't lock in a die and you don't have any of these beta tokens, that is a fall. And if you fall, you have to start again. So don't fill in your in your dice until until you can 
Um, so that's basically it. Once everybody has climbed up their wall, uh, everyone adds up their points. Uh, the first person to finish will get some bonus points, and so will the uh, the second place finisher as well. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much the game. It's called Boulder Roll. It's a dice climbing game of rock rolling. Uh, as you can see, it's got a cool and fun rock climbing theme. There are two different ways uh, to roll and use dice. You know, uh, careful and strategic in the first round, fast and frantic in the second. Um, it's simple. It's got cheap components, and it plays in like 20 minutes. Uh, we have had a ton of fun making this. Somebody out there will have a wonderful time publishing this thing with us, and people everywhere is going to have a blast playing this with their friends and families. Uh, Boulder Roll. Thanks for checking it out.